Hello guys, welcome back. In this video, let's go through Gemma model from Google. I hope you already know that Google released Gemma model yesterday. But if not also, yeah, now you know that Google released Gemma model, which uh, they said here introducing a new state of the art open models. It's really important that it's open, right? That's why people are all talking about this Gemma model. In this video, I'm not going to go through the articles. You can just go through the article by yourself. But I will be showing you how to quickly test this model using Olama locally in your computer. And also, let's say that you want to have a simple chat GPT like UI. We will be using this open UI uh, GitHub repository to create a simple web UI which you are seeing on the screen where you can choose the models as you want and have a conversation with that particular model. Let's get started. Okay, in order to go through the Olama, first you need to have Olama installed in your computer. Just go to this Olama website and just download and follow the steps. If you find any difficulty, I have already created a playlist of Olama videos here. You can go to this first one, how to install Olama. So if not, then once you install this locally, you can go to your terminal and then just run here Olama and it should show you some commands like this, meaning that uh, your Olama is installed and if you want to know if it is running or not you can just go to your port which is 11434 if you run this and you will get something like okay Olama is running meaning that now we can have a conversation with the Olamas so it says here also that you start Olama with the sorb so we don't need to write Olama sorb but if you see uh, the local host running in your local machine let's say then we are ready to go so how to now download the models right if you go on top of these models you can see there are different models here and we are going to talk about uh, Gemma models and as you can see it is updated four hours ago you can go inside this and there is already 11,000 pools from this uh, Olama website yeah you can see there are two different models one is 2 billion and the next one is the 7 billion right and again, if you want to go in depth, you can go to this Google Gemma. So this is, again, the same information that I showed you before, but in the, as, as a model card. And you can see all the descriptions here. But one thing to point out here is that the input and output, this is not multimodal, by the way. The input is the text string, such as questions, a prompt, or a document. Output is the generated English language text in the response to the output, such as answer to question or a summary of a document. You can just go here and see what is the training data set and also what is the data processing steps they have taken and the implementation information and so on. But now if we go to the website, as you can see, we can just copy this Olama Ron Gemma 2B. That is the default model. We do control C, copy. And one thing to notice is that if you already have Olama, you need to uh, update to Olama 0.1.26. But if you are installing for the first time, then the latest model will be downloaded. Now I will go to the terminal, right? Yeah, let me open the terminal. And here I can just paste this Olama Gemma 2B. I have already downloaded this. So it is already showing me, okay, ask any questions. But for you, it will take some time to download. So here I can just say hi. And as you can see, it just provides the answer. I can say, who are you? And yeah, I am this, this, this. All the information is shown here. I can quit uh, by typing by here, right? That's it. But it will take some time. It, it's, it's just uh, one point uh, just to show you. Let me go and run Olama list. It is just 1.4 GB in size. So you can see that I have already downloaded it before. Gemma 2B. It's just a small model. It will take some time to download. And now you can have the conversation with it. That's it. It's just two uh, steps. And as I said to you before also, if you find any difficulty in downloading this, please refer to this uh, first video. Now the second part is, as I said you before also, uh, we are going to create a web UI, right? For that, one requirement is you need to have the Docker desktop being installed because we are going to use Docker for that. And the second one is we are going to use this open web UI, as I mentioned you before also. It is a chat GPT style web UI for LLMs, formerly Olama web UI. What we need to do now is just scroll down here and you can just go ahead and read all the information. I'm not going to go through that and take your, your time. Maybe you just want to know how to do things, right? I have already also created a video about how to install Olama Wave UI chat GPT-like interface. You can go through this if you want 
to know step-by-step -step things, but there is just one Docker command that we need to run. If I scroll a little bit down here, as it is mentioned here, installing with Docker, right? If Olama is on your computer, use this command. So we can just copy this command, but first make sure in your local computer that you have Docker installed. So just run Docker. If it shows some commands like this, then we know that the Docker is being installed, right? Once that is done, we can just control V, paste here. I have already installed this. I'm not going to again run this, but once this is done, it will take some time to install all the necessary things. But wh what I can do now is just open this in the load localhost 3000. As you can see here, it says after installation, you can access open web UI at localhost 3000. Remember, there is two things. Olama must be running at localhost 11434 so that we can use the models installed by Olama and we can go to localhost 3000 to use this web UI, right? I will go to the terminal again and here I will just type open and then localhost 3000. So yeah, as you can see here, this is the web UI and for you, for the first time, you need to create the account for this. Once you just sign up, then this is the UI that you will be showing. I have I have explained in, in depth in the video that I just mentioned you, but yeah, this is the, there are some things on the left side and on the top, there is this open web UI and there is select a model. And the models that we can select from here are the models that we installed you by Olama, let's say. If I go here, I can choose different models from here. So we are going to go through Gemma 2B. I will choose this one. And now I can just have a conversation here. I can say hi. Yeah, the same thing that we get in the terminal with Olama. Now we get a good looking UI here. And I can just go here and say, who are you? Right, it just, and it's quite fast, but it's quite fast meaning that it depends upon your hardware also. So yeah, just keep that in mind, but it is just 1.3 GB model. So it shouldn't be that slow. Let's say the, the four or five, I think, uh, I don't know how how much is needed, but if you go to this, it is mentioned here, what is the requirement uh, of your hardware, right? If you scroll a little bit down here, it says that, okay, down here, it says that you should have at least 8 GB of RAM available to run 7 B uh, models, but we are just using 2 B, so meaning that you can maybe have like 4 GB of RAM and you should be able to uh, run this locally. Okay, now you can just go ahead and ask as many questions as you want with Gemma model. And in the future, let's say if you know this Olama and how to use this way BY, in the future, if some new model appears and if that is in the Olama, you can just pull that particular model and use and test uh, here directly in your local machine. And uh, the next thing is that maybe not all of you want to use Docker to run these models locally. So in the next video, I'm going to create a simple wave UI using Chainlit where I will be using Langchain and also the Langsmith in order to track the traces. Thank you for watching and see you in the next video.